Welcome to Vintage SF. I'm Richard Rempel. It has been four weeks since I've bought a book. So how can I have a book haul? Well, some books take a long time to come in the mail. I had made some large orders with World of Books and Rare Waves. Both are in the UK. I find generally that it takes two to four weeks to get books from the UK to Canada. Amazingly, both these companies are very inexpensive in shipping to Canada. So let's take a look at the books. I've been thinking a little while about authors where I try to get all their bibliography. In some cases, this is very doable. For example, Zena Henderson. And in other cases, it's a really big project. Think Philip K. Dick. Well, I have a couple authors here today that I've been collecting. The first is Bob Shaw. Up to this point, I have 20 books, novels, and short story collections. I added one more, and it is a conclusion to a trilogy he wrote later in his life. It started with Ragged Astronauts in 1986, went on to The Wooden Spaceships in 1988, and it concludes with Fugitive Worlds in 1989. It's a different livery, but I really do like the cover for this book. And it's a wraparound cover. So I'm getting pretty close to getting all Bob Shaw's bibliography. I think with one exception, I do have all of his books from the 60s and 70s. Another favorite author of mine is Ursula K. Le Guin, and I seem to be trying to collect much of her work. I picked up four new books from Rare Waves. The Unreal and the Real by Ursula K. Le Guin. These are Selected Stories, Volume 1, Where on Earth. Let's take a look at what this is about here on the back. The Unreal and the Real is a two-volume collection of stories selected by Ursula K. Le Guin herself and spans the spectrum of fiction from realism through magical realism, satire, science fiction, surrealism, and fantasy. Volume 1, Where on Earth, focuses on Le Guin's interest in realism and magic realism and includes 18 of her satirical, political, and experimental stories, including the Hugo and World Fantasy Award-winning Buffalo Gals, Won't You Come Out Tonight, the rarely reprinted satirical short, The Lost Children, Jupiter Award-winning, The Diary of the Rose, and the title story of her Pulitzer Prize finalist collection, Unlocking the Air. So that's volume one. So, book number two for Ursula K. Le Guin is The Unreal and the Real, Outer Space, Inner Lands. From the back, it says Volume 2, Outer Space, Inner Lands, showcases Le Guin's acclaimed stories of the fantastic, originally appearing in publications as varied as Amazing Stories, Playboy, The New Yorker, and Omni, including the Hugo Award-winning The Ones Who Walk Away from Amalas. Next, I have two books with really beautiful covers. Let me see if I can see a cover artist credited for these. Cover design on the first one I'm going to show you is by Rachel Lancaster. And on the second one, once again, Rachel Lancaster. So you can see these will fit together artistically. Once again, it's a collection of stories. A Fisherman of the Inland Sea. Isn't that cover remarkable? The award-winning stories in this collection range from the everyday to the outer limits of experience, where the quantum uncertainties of space and time are resolved only in the depths of the human heart. Featuring such objects of the imagination as a starship that sails on the wings of song, musical instruments that are played at funerals only, and orbiting arcs designed to save a doomed humanity. And we have a book that's been revised. It used to be called Four Ways to Forgiveness, 
And now it is five ways to forgiveness. And once again, there is that cover illustration by Rachel Lancaster. Set in the same universe as The Left Hand of Darkness and The Dispossessed, these five linked stories follow far future human colonies living in the distant solar system. I look forward to reading these Hainish stories. Let me just show you these two books side by side. I think they make a remarkable set. Now we're going to move on to a stack of SF masterworks that I've collected. I have three different types of SF masterworks here. So I'll just illustrate a little bit about the different printings. To start off with, I have three of the original SF masterworks from 1999 to, I believe it was 2008, and they are numbered. Let's take a look at them individually. Martian Time Slip by Philip K. Dick. On the back cover here, you can see that they have quadrants. In this quadrant, we have a blurb about the book. On this quadrant, we have testimonials. Then we have a description of the series and we have an author bio. Let me just read the description of the series itself. Masterworks is a library of the greatest SF ever written, chosen with the help of today's leading SF writers and editors. These books show that genuinely innovative SF is as exciting today as when it was first written. So these are the ones that are commonly called the Black Spine first edition of SF Masterworks. That was number 13. Number 17, The Drowned World by J.G. Ballard. I was very happy to get this one because it doesn't appear in the second yellow spined edition. I believe there is a contract issue for it. And I have number 43, Vallis by Philip K. Dick. Now I'm going to show you what is actually a third edition, or it's retitled The Best of the SF Masterworks. This has only come out recently. Karen Joy Fowler, Sarah Canary. As you can see, we have a different design here. We have a window for the cover art. And at the top, we have author, name of book, SF Masterworks down here. We have a full yellow spine for the best of SF Masterworks, at least the paperbacks. The hardcovers are actually red. At the top, we have a designated SF, and at the bottom, we have the icon for Victor Golanks. And here on the back, no more quadrants or columns as we have in the SF Masterworks. Welcome to the best of the SF Masterworks, a selection of the finest in science fiction. Then we have the blurb for the novel, a bio for the author, and testimonials. And now we'll get back to the yellow-spined second edition of the SF Masterworks. Almost all of these have a yellow gradient to white. Let me just show you here on this first one that we'll talk about. So you can see that yellow gradient to white as compared to this one here. And let's just compare the covers. And let's just do a comparison, quick comparison here of the first edition and second edition of SF Masterworks. Lucia Shepard, Life During Wartime. Look at that cover. Another amazing cover.
The illustration is by Dominic Harmon. I want to show you the next SF masterwork beside this one by Lucia Shepard. I've only found two SF masterworks so far that don't have the gradient white in this area on the spine. I'm not sure what that designates. The other one is a Brian Aldous book. Let me get it out just to show you. So these are the only two that I've found so far that have this solid yellow coming down, perhaps a little bit of a gradient to white at the bottom. Uh, let's put it beside the Sarah Canary one as well. So you can see it's a bit of a different yellow for the best of SF Masterworks. But this is a book haul. Let's get back into it. Ian Watson, The Embedding. James Morrow, This is the Way the World Ends. David I. Mason, The Caltraps of Time. A couple of chunky ones coming up. Cecilia Holland. Floating Worlds. My understanding, I believe this is her only SF novel. And now a very famous anthology. Dangerous Visions by Harlan Ellison. This actually came from World of Books and I was very, very pleased with the condition. I'm not sure that anybody has read it. It was very well priced. And the last one I have is one of their hardbacks. Douglas Adams, Life, the Universe, and Everything. So I'm really curious if there's anyone out there who can tell me why these two have a solid yellow spine. Please comment below if you know. So that may be the last book haul for a while. Four weeks without ordering any books or buying any books. I'm not sure if you call that a slump or some willpower. What are your thoughts on the different editions of the SF Masterworks? Have you read any of these novels? Which one do you think I should try first? Let me know in the comments below. Until next time. Keep reading.